everything on this scene looks good. Back. I'm back, here. Back, back. You Am are I here? here. Oh, I need to change the text at the bottom. I even remembered I was going to do that when I was downstairs, and I couldn't do it because we're already we are live. doing well. I well, I didn't exactly forget. I just forgot that I would need to do it before. Fair enough. Um, before the stream began. So, right, give me two seconds while I make some changes. Hello, everybody. Hello. How are we doing? Oh, that's a, that's hope we a, had a good break. I hope we've had a good break. That was a lot of content welcome. warnings. Yeah. Welcome to Scarlet Hollow again. Yeah. Tell, tell people on, about Scarlet Hollow. We're on episode three. Scarlet Hollow. That's a very hot tea. Uh, Scarlet Hollow is cool. There you go. That's all you need to know. Great. Scarlet Hollow, horror, 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 um, is a horror game by Black Tabby Games, who are fantastic and the art is amazing and the music is amazing and the story is amazing and scarlet horror there you go yep and we yeah it's it's a cool story about a like a little sort of backwoods town town village town i guess yeah sort of towny where strange stuff is happening i don't want to say more than that for anyone who hasn't watched the previous ones cuz i don't want to spoil things Surely nothing bad will happen. No, yes. no. This is this is surely nothing bad will happen. The game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, In this section of the screen, we quote crab cabin pressure while Sam fixes stuff. Yeah. Yeah. How oh. many otters? <laughs> Give me line spacing. Oh, rude. What? Custom text elements? No. Oh no! Absolutely not that. Welcome to Sam gets annoyed at OBS, which is fair uh, enough. Well, it's it's mostly fine. It's just yeah. I just want occasionally has a tantrum. Well, I just the lemon to... is indeed in play. The lemon no. is never not in play. I may have I said this. I've probably said this on stream before. I have a friend gave me many many years ago a little pin badge that's got. A picture of a lemon on it with a picture of a plane, a silhouette of a plane on top, and it says Traveling Lemon World Championship on it. Made me very happy. Um, yeah. And also, I play Le Lello Car. Yes. Yellow Car. Oh, she does constantly. Yeah, so do you now, though. Well, no. Yeah, you do. <sighs> to stop me from doing it. This is how you trick someone into playing yellow car. You're not allowed to say yellow car unless there is a yellow car. Now, now. Why? Why I'd, is this I'd... proving so? <laughs> you okay? Utterly impossible to do. No. If I could just change the line breaks, like if I could just have a bit more space, but so a bit less space between lines, we would be fine. Uh... But. Yeah. But no, it has to look ugly like that. And I really don't want to yeah. have to change the border. No. You just make it smaller? Uh, I can, I can make, yeah, I can make the font smaller still. Also, yes, the music for this is very good. Brandon Boone. That's a fantastic name. That's... Apparently the soundtrack. Yeah. Okay, well, highly professional. There we go. I've just made the text smaller. Nailed it. Yeah. No one saw any Ugh. of the things that went beforehand. Ugh, feels bad. <laughs> it feels dirty. I, it does. Just, just line spacing. That's all I want. That's all I ask for. Exquisite and professional job there. Okay, great. Well, here we are. Hi. <laughs> the irony of the fact that I think that's deliberate. Is that deliberate? Yeah, truly I've, professional. I feel like I've heard professional. I think it's another Parnets. Oh right. Parnets. Beautiful. Parnets. Parnets. <laughs> Which yes, I did look up the other day to remind myself. Oh no! Nice. Yes, it's a yes. Yogscast. That's it. Yes, because they uh... they do their professional stream. See, nice. Now I'm looking at that text, thinking I need to just, 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 just leave no, it. It's bothering me. Having, oh my having, god! Having two, sorry, three floating little words at the bottom is like I need to. 
I need to add more and change where the line breaks are. And I'm going to leave it, but it's going to upset me. Oh dear. Right. Protectional strim, I like. Oh, okay. Um, right. If you'd like to continue. With... Oh, yeah. Who? How would we divvy it up? Was I narrating? Uh, you were doing voices? Yeah, last time I was doing voices, you were narrating. Should we switch it up this time? You do voices, I'll narrate. Uh, oh, can do, yeah, if you want. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. so I just saw, yeah, about removing talking over the games, which did does remind me I need to take that out of the stream, or I need to take the chiliterity part out of the stream title and change what we're doing over to Scarlet Hollow, because that's what we're doing now. Ah, yes. <laughs> All the things that... I Maybe. forgot to do. I completely forgot to do it in the break. It's all right. It's warm. The warmth is addling everyone's brain. It's it's warm. We do this more or less once a month. Yeah, that's, um, that is fair. Uh, even even if it's like a repetitive task that I do once a week, I will forget. Yeah. Oh no. So I've just seen what Kat said. No, no. 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 Is it not salvageable at all? Oh, that sucks so much. I'm sorry. Yep. I... That sucks. Uh. Uh. I know I said I wouldn't, but I am. Oh, dear. Right, there we go. I salvage your living room first. Ah, fair enough. Ooh, I hope it hasn't caused too much damage. Either there. on painting or living room. I will mess right. with it no further. We are done. Hooray. We are good. Yay. <laughs> Fully 40 minutes after we even should have swapped over to playing this, but hey, you know, things happen. Um, yeah. Let's, let's go. So what, I'm doing characters this time? Yeah, why not? All right. Yeah, you, Sam. <laughs> yeah, hooray for me. Yep. Uh, do we want to recap? I guess we'll have a recap. Yeah, why not? Just recap of episode two. Episode two, yeah. yeah. You're doing voices. <sighs> I guess so, yeah. But listen, you'd better stay out of trouble today. I want you home by sunset. I don't want to hear complaints. Just do what I ask and we won't have any more problems. Tabitha takes a few steps towards the door. Sunset. <laughs> I love Tabitha. <laughs> Tabitha's been watching Hot Fuzz. Yeah. Wow, that is some heavy stuff. No wonder Stella seemed distant. I'm going to keep my ears open for you. The diner is where everyone comes to gossip, so I hear a lot about what goes on around here. I'll let you know if anyone mentions those monsters or anything else strange or unusual. Have either of you seen Rosalina around town? I don't want to be a helicopter dad, but she hasn't been answering my texts, and I wanted to make sure she isn't getting into trouble out there. This is all going to be me, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hi, Dr. Kelly. We were wondering if it would be okay if Reese could come hang out? Nothing strenuous, we promise. Whatever you two have planned is probably beyond what he can manage right now, anyways. Uh, I can be Wayne if you want. I was going to say, I'd, I'd, I'd need to sit and think about a Wayne voice for a second. Stay home. Wait for the week to end. Don't keep putting yourself in the path of danger. This is all I ask. That sounds like there it's going to be very difficult to maintain for a long time. Uh, yeah, well, thank goodness me that Wayne doesn't talk much. Yeah, that's that's going to stay the way that, that is. I... Let's hope so. I, I had something that I was going to do for uh, one of the characters in the Hodgson stuff that I that you oh, right. at the moment, which I, I remembered after I'd recorded it. I was like, oh yeah, I was going to try and do that. But I still don't know if it would actually be any good, so I don't know. Over to you. You're interrupted by a sudden movement out of the corner of your eye. A girl carrying a bundle of snacks. Sorry. <laughs> it, it, stream went weird for a second there. Oh. Snacks pops through a hole in the fence and disappears over the crest of a hill. 
What's that going over the hill? <laughs> it's a girl. Is it snacks? Oh. <laughs> Different priorities there. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't. I guess old I guess the old Maxwell place doesn't cut it as a secret hangout spot these days. But the shore mine? That place was shutting down like was shut down like a hundred years ago. After a collapse that killed over a hundred people. You pull out your phone and dial your cousin. What is it? You know I'm in a meeting. <laughs> a kid just snuck into the shore <laughs> mine. I figured you should know. What? Are you serious? Why do things keep happening to me? Uh, whatever. I'll head over there as soon as I can. Just stay where you are and wait for me, all right? God, I don't even know why I'm trying to reason with you. It's not like you'll listen. Oh, sorry, Cap. I hope you sleep well. I'm sorry, yeah. but... Yeah, yeah. No, no worries at all. I yeah. Big hugs. And sympathy. Yeah, that yeah. sucks. Yeah, good good night and sleep well. And yeah. I, I hope things seem a lot brighter in the morning. Yeah. I shall carry on. My dad is a foreman at the continuous mining facility, and he... Sorry, continuous mining? Okay. And he says yeah. they only abandoned this mine because there wasn't enough coal left, so it's actually really safe, and we can hang out here where, whenever we want. Correction. Your father was a foreman at the continuous mining facility. We'll see if he even has a job tomorrow morning. Tabitha. My dad says our house is haunted. Kanika is interrupted by a pair of thunderous knocks. You turn to see Becca and Alexis gone, and Rosalina anxiously hovering in front of a small tunnel in the cavern wall. She freezes as you notice her. There is something in the darkness before you that's much louder, though you don't hear it, but you can feel it in your chest, like the deep growl of a predator. What do you think you're doing? Get away from there. Your cousin dives towards you, but not before the light from your phone illuminates the chamber. <laughs> Billy T. McGonagall! <laughs> Billy T. McGonagall, are you all right? <laughs> the gift that keeps giving. You and Tabitha manage to squeeze through the entrance just as the walls of the mine come crashing down. Holy shit, you're okay. Thank God. And everyone's accounted for. That was a surprisingly close call. We could have all died in there. What did you weirdos do? Everything was fine until you adults showed up. Becca, shut up. It's you. Oh, sorry. Go it's ahead. me. Tabitha doesn't say a word as the car cuts along the darkened road. You mm. collapse in Tabitha's dusty guest bed, your head empty of thoughts. Just vibes. After your... Yeah. After your time in the shore mine, you barely even notice the dust. Yes, I skipped the cutscene last time, didn't I? Oh yeah, oh yeah. When you close your eyes, you see the shadowy figures that gathered behind Stella in the mines. Your thoughts are drawn to the carving on the wall and to the visions it imparted upon you. Why yeah, do I was wondering that. People look like mouths. Uh, I don't know if that's intentional, but yeah. I, yeah. Might just I, be highlights, but I don't know. I, because it's deeply unsettling, I have to feel like it's probably intentional. Black Tabby Games, if you're in chat, show yourselves and answer these questions right now. I am, for the purpose <laughs> yes. of this Inquisition, a cop. <laughs> you always thought the yellow thing is rise, but you think they're headlamps? Like this, this one up here in the top right, this looks like a mouth going on down here. I see, oh, yeah. I see eyes and a mouth. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's unsettling, whatever it is. Again, I recommend reading The Willows to anyone who likes this kind mm. of unsettling stuff. Yes. Or listening to The Willows. Go listen to it. It's on YouTube. <laughs> Shame of self-promotion. This is literally our channel. 
<laughs> uh, wake up, I guess. Uh, yeah. Alan, wake up. <laughs> anyway. Bah. Sunshine filters in through the dusty windows of the estate as the dull aches of last night's activities throb in and out of focus. You manage to survive a second night in the town of Scarlet Hollow. As you pull yourself out of bed, you can feel the soot and grime of the shore mine still stuck to your skin. Oh yeah, take a shower. Uh, yeah. Billy T. McGonagall is... is uh, yeah. Uh, you step into the guest bedroom and into the shower, which looks revolting. Be bathroom, sorry. Right. The water is hot and, surprisingly enough, clean. As steam fills your lungs and soot washes down the drain, you... Oh, wow. Oh, okay. We're going to give ourselves PTSD or not? Yeah. Uh... Think about so special. <laughs> uh... Oh, I don't know. Uh, I feel like think about Sybil's warning, maybe. Yeah, let's the let's. Worst is yet to go. Yeah, let's be dramatic. Yeah. You think about Sybil's warning, the worst is yet to come. We're done. You just here. stood under the water, thought a bit, walked out. You're done here. You turn off the faucet and dry yourself off. Achievement unlocked. Wash, Wash away your sins. sins. Okay. Yep. Time to start your day. Just seeing the painting looks really pissed off. Yeah. It's just it's obviously obviously Tabitha's uh, ancestor. Um. Ooh, look out! Oh, oh, let's check on the opossum. Oh, there's two. There are two of them now. Hello. Oh, please get out of my dresser. He would absolutely say that. He would be very polite. Okay. Please, get out of my dresser. The larger opossum hisses. The smaller opossum joins in. They bear their many teeth at you in unison, attempting to frighten you away from what is clearly their territory. Is it H? There we go. Just, if anyone wants full screen, screaming opossums, there you go. Enjoy. <laughs> Close the dresser. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, I tried reasoning with them, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. You've had enough of the growing family of opossums that live in your dresser, at least for the time being. I think we should look out the window. Yep. <sighs> Sorry, just That's drinking right. tea. Yeah. You hold your breath and approach the bedroom window. After finding that boot print and viscera... Viscera? Viscera? <laughs> in the garden yesterday, you can't help but anticipate something staring back at you. It's the same view. Bum, bum, bum. Can we see anything? No, I, I don't see anything. Uh, Wait, what? Did Sam hold his breath before the line you hold your breath came up? He, he may have burped or hiccuped. I... what? When, when did that line come was, up? There was a... Oh, really? I, I might have done without thinking. Not intentionally. Ah. You turn back to the guest room. Might be yawning. Ah, uh, maybe it was that. <sighs> got you. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, we've got options. Do we check the closet? I guess we can check the closet. Oh, good. Ah. Spooky doll's still there. Every time you see that doll, your heart skips a beat. It hasn't moved, right? Every time you see that doll, <laughs> yeah. your heart skips a beat. Skips a beat. Yeah. Oh. It hasn't moved right. Poem. <laughs> it hasn't moved wrong. <laughs> oh God, please stop. Ooh, girl. What? Please, please stop. Keen eye. No, it hasn't. Good. <laughs> no, good, it good. hasn't Glad moved. Glad we need some keen eye for, for that. Guess we've messaged the Groose. Groose Duke. Oh my goodness me, <laughs> I cannot speak today. Group chat. There we go. That's enough of this closet. You turn back to the guest room. Uh, yeah. yeah, group chat. Yeah. No preferences. <laughs> you pull out your phone and open up your group chat with Stella and Kanika. So I just have to mute myself while I'm coughing. Oh, you're right. Uh, yeah, apparently. 
Uh, <clears throat> well, I am. I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. fine. Yeah, it's just something, something like tickling at the back of my throat. Ah. Mm. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that Billy T. McGonagall would loathe the fact that there is no punctuation. Oh or yeah. Actual kind of. No. <laughs> Send a photo of a paint old man. I mean, that's what you would do. Yeah, that, that's um, that's me. Send a meme. Uh, um, I think last night was terrible. Yeah. Maybe, or maybe he'd ask how they are. Uh... I think last night was terrible. Yeah, because I'm... the first one doesn't have a comma, and yeah. he would not write anything without a comma. Yeah. The meme art is very good. Oh, I'm sure. Oh. If we if we get the yeah. option, I will. Yeah. Nah. It'll probably be a bit before you get a response. Okay. Uh, I mean, I... I, I feel like... Yeah, I... I for, well, for me, I feel like if I've messaged the group chat and I then message also someone individually, I'm being demanding. Yeah. Um, being like, hey, you also talk to me. And I, just, I don't want to annoy people. Yeah. Hey, Andy Pants, welcome. Just popping in. Oh, Absolutely hello, fun. hello. Yeah. Uh, Billy T has just woken up. Yeah, so no, everything's going awfully for Billy T right now. Yes, been hissed at by opossums. Yes. Uh, head downstairs. Yeah, I guess. You've done everything you wanted to up here. It's time to start your day. You enter the kitchen to find your cousin in the midst of devouring a pint of banana chocolate chunk. She isn't alone. Fru Fru glares at you from her usual spot on the counter as a red-headed woman busies herself trying to tidy as best she can. Book smart. You have to imagine that the fresh face in the kitchen is Janie. Tabitha did mention that she comes in on Wednesdays to clean. Tabitha's eyes dart to the corner of the room, almost as if she's ashamed of being caught in the act of stress-eating ice cream for breakfast. We've all done it. Mm. I haven't. <laughs> Never had the chance. Aww. Uh <laughs> No, no boiled <laughs> peanuts. No. Just take the book smart. Hi, you must. Yeah. Be... Yeah. Hi, you must be Janie. Tabitha mentioned you'd be coming in today. Oh yeah, we took the peanuts, Amos. Of course. What? Yeah. We still have the peanuts. We're trying yeah. to keep the peanuts until the end of the run. <laughs> They're our escort quest. That's right. I'm just here to do a little bit of cleaning. What cleaning Miss Tabitha will let me do, at least. I could have this place looking brand new, you know. Don't go making any big renovations or moving anything around. I like knowing where my stuff is. Okie dokie. It's so nice to finally meet you, Billy T. McGonagall. I mean, I guess I did meet you on Monday when you popped into the diner. Janie... But seeing someone somewhere and meeting them face to face are two completely different things, I suppose. Uh, eh. Thanks, I guess, maybe? Thanks. All I'm trying to say is that it's wonderful to finally actually meet you, and I'm so happy part of the family is here to keep Miss Tabitha company. What with everything that's... Janie! Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Tabitha. Am I being too much again? Tabitha grumbles in acknowledgement. <laughs> no, we are not offering Janie our boiled peanuts. Are we having ice cream for breakfast? <laughs> oh, would would we try and be cool, though? What, hey, cuz? Hey, cuz, how's it? No, Ugh. I don't think we would. Let's try with the ice cream, maybe. Yeah. Oh, are we having ice cream for breakfast? <laughs> Billy T's eyes light up. Yeah. I'll have no sass from you today. Oh, no, he wasn't being sassy. <laughs> he, was, he was being legit. The, yeah, this was a genuine... Give me the chunky monkey. <laughs> there was a massive mine collapse last night that almost got my cousin killed. So I'm under a lot of stress right now in case you hadn't put that together. And there's no we here. This stuff is way too hard to get a hold of for me to share. Rude. Tabitha takes one last spoonful of ice cream, then discards the empty container, turning to you with her trademark scowl. Let's get going. 
I've got an errand to run in town, and every time I've left you here alone, something terrible's wound up happening, so you're coming with me. Fair enough. <laughs> Cousin bonding time. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll meet you outside. Or all right, let's go, baby. I don't know. Uh, something straightforward. Oh, oh, having a breakfast. Oh yeah. But he needs his he needs his food. But I haven't had breakfast. We'll find you something in town. Jenny, lock up when you leave, please. I don't and don't go rearrange anything. I'll know. As you read, uh, as you're ready to leave, Janie approaches from the far side of the kitchen. Tabitha remains between the two of you, impatiently tapping her foot. Janie is absolutely in on everything that's going on. Yep. I just thought, is the music coming through loud enough? Because it's it's pretty quiet for me, and I don't know if that's actually coming through okay. I can. I mean, I can it hear it on my stream okay. fairly all right, but I don't know. Yeah, if that's it's. Do do let me know if you if you would like it a bit louder, chat. Um, it's quiet but all right. That is two different things, area. That's fine. Um, yeah, I I I don't mind. I if you if you would like it as is, you can hear it's nice and soft for your headache. Okay. All right, cool. I will leave it as it is then. Thank you. Um, oh, Billy T. McGonagall, before you go, I heard about what happened last night. I mean, I heard about it before Miss Tabitha mentioned it just now, and then I heard it again. I just wanted to say that I'm so sorry you got caught up in that. You two did right by those kids, though. What a blessing, everyone getting out of that situation all right. Uh, <laughs> wow. No, he he wants to know. He, he's got poems he to write. He wants to know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Janie, that rhymes with at least a couple of other things. Yeah. Perhaps she's quite smart. Mm. You only come in once a week, right? What do you do with the rest of your time? Oh, odd jobs, mostly. Weeding gardens, cleaning houses, watching kids, that sort of thing. My husband's the pastor, so a lot of time spent at the church and doing things for the community. Oh. Right. Poor Daniel. He's been going absolutely stir-crazy since we've moved here. What with nobody really attending sermons? It'd probably do him a lot of good to talk you through the through. Yeah, probably do him a lot of good to talk you through your worries. I. Uh, I mean, he was a, a fine, upstanding Christian man, so I think he would. He would. Yep. Yeah. All so all sounds wonderful. Oh. If he said, sounds uh, wonderful, thank you for the offer, I think that would be the Yeah, point. yeah. That sounds wonderful. Thank you for the offer. <laughs> of course. He's always ready and willing to talk with people, so feel free to stop by the church any time. The door is always open. <laughs> Leave. Yep. Uh, <laughs> what did you say? Uh... Which of these says a lot? Maybe, maybe asking about Wayne? Yeah. Do you know anything about a guy named Wayne? I'm going to stop the two of you right there. Ah, oh, Tabitha knows something about a guy called Wayne, I bet. Mm -hmm. Billy T. McGonagall, I'm busy and not in the mood to stand around waiting while you play Nancy Drew with my cleaning lady right in front of me. We're leaving. Bye, Janie. Alrighty then, be safe out there, you two. Tabitha practically drags you from the estate, one hand clasped firmly around your arm. I mean, we know Tabitha knows about Wayne because yes. Wayne was an employee. Yeah. Yes, I, I, yes, I, I was alluding to that. Oh right, okay. Well, she continues. Sorry. Wasn't he? Wasn't he like dating her or something as well? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, she continues to drag you all the way into her car, and from there, into town. Let's go the ride shopping. To, yeah, get in, loser. The ride to town is uneventful. Your cousin, unsurprisingly, more focused on the road than on making conversation. <laughs> Zoom. Cool slide. <laughs> Woo! Very cool slide. All right. 
We're just popping into the general store for a few minutes. Uh, what are we doing at the general store, I think? Yeah, I guess. What are we doing at the general store? Picking up tea from Sybil. <laughs> William McGonagall. Go, Ooh, tea! <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, nod mm -hmm, sagely. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Maybe that. Yeah. After everything that's happened the past two days, it's nice to just go on an errand. Exactly. <laughs> you and Tabitha turn as the door to the general store bursts open. A flustered Kanika exits, shouting behind her. Fine. Okay, keep coddling him. Keep letting him get away with stuff you never would have let me so much as think about. I am sick of carrying this family. Kanika storms off, the door slowly drifting shut behind her. Ugh. Other people and their drama. If more people kept things to themselves, they'd be a lot happier. That's not how it works, Tabitha. That is the opposite. Yes, book smart. <laughs> That's very Hemingway of you. It works out great for all his characters, too. And for him. Books are for children. I read expense <gasps> reports. <Ouch. laughs> uh, wow. I mean, she's not wrong. I read expense reports now. Billy T. McGonagall is not happy about this. <laughs> We're burning daylight. Come on already. The bells of the general store chime as you cross the threshold. The smells of old wood and steamy herbal tea flood your senses, making you feel instantly at home. Good morning, you two. Hope you're doing well after last night's activities. Morning. Is the new blend ready? Of course. Billy T. McGonagall, if you'd like to keep Miles company, Tabitha and I will just be a minute. <laughs> That one. Absolutely that one. I'm afraid of Miles, one who makes fun of me. I'm afraid of Miles. What if he makes fun of me for being old? <laughs> also, hello to your raid team, Josh. Thank you. I oh, hope you are succeeding. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Miles glares up at you. I don't even think about you. I'm not going to waste energy making fun of you. Wow. Oh, Miles, always such a cut-up. Be civil while I'm gone. Oh, he's just an ass. <laughs> Sybil motions for Tabitha to follow, and they both disappear into the tea room, closing the door behind them with a tinkling of bells. Yeah, definitely tea. Yep. Just normal tea. Try and listen in. Try and listen in. Yeah. Keen eye. How is that keen eye? Uh, ear. You walk up to the door of the tea room to listen in. Yeah, that Miles has got some dailies to complete anyway yeah. here. Subtle. I know it took a little longer than you'd hoped, but this was fairly short notice. Sybil pauses, and a moment later you hear footsteps move to the far end of the tea room. She and Tabitha resume their discussion, their voices hushed. You can only make out bits and pieces of what they're saying. Is there... Yes, make sure this is all. Not inside? Outside, then. Don't assume you know. I know what I'm... Your listening session is halted as the tinkling of bells announce another patron. Oh, hey, who's this? Oh, Excuse me. He, he kind of. Hmm. You know me. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Wait. You're Billy T. McGonagall, aren't you? My name is Bo. I'm Duke's boy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, oh, sorry, Bo. I'm not going to do an accent. I'm just going to keep reading it as me. <laughs> the policeman told me you saw what happened to my daddy. My daddy. You so love that his head head cuts off the screen. Yeah. <laughs> he a big uh, lad. Uh, 
Ooh. I'm so sorry for your loss, I guess. Generic just, response. Just straight up. Or, or, or I could have saved him. I'm so sorry. That, that is quite... I, I, I want to provoke for the drama. Not not provoke him, but just in terms of... You know, we, we've got... We, we've got some toys to play with. And... I don't yeah. Like going, going for something a little bit more dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, well, the screen cuts off his head. Like father, like son. Anyway. Um, wow. <laughs> Too soon. Yeah. Uh, that's months ago. Folks have seen Kennedy Dad is Dead, do they? That's. You know, you can do that one if you want, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Folks don't seem to care that your dad is dead, do they? They're making callous jokes about it on the internet, frankly. Yeah. Oh, folks have been coming by. My mama and me have been getting visitors. But it'd be awful helpful if the police was able to get his body out of the woods. Give us both some peace of mind, and we could have a proper funeral. They seem to think he's still alive out in the woods, but me and my mama both know he ain't coming back. Mama's pretty broken up about it. I'm trying to hold it together since I'm the man of the house now, but it ain't easy. So good night, Lady Mephistopheles. Oh yeah, I guess. Me and him were supposed to bring Big Betty to the state fair this week, but... Oh, Big Betty. Bambalem. Yep. Sorry, that's very disrespectful of me. Carry on, Bob. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now he's gone, and as of this morning, so is she. So I suppose I'm not going to the fair. I may as well make myself useful and get out in the woods to look for what's left of my daddy. You was there, right? Could you... Tell me where to look so I can try and find him. Damn it. <laughs> Whoa, big Betty. Big Betty, yeah. Um, what we got? Uh, mm. Maybe tell him it's dangerous? I feel like we would try and tell him not to. Yeah. It's dangerous up there. I wouldn't go poking around. I ain't a stranger to what these hills have to offer. Daddy always said I wouldn't have nothing to fear so long as I learned how to use my fists. So he taught me how to do all that. These woods might still get scary sometimes, but I reckon there's no better way to show my daddy I've learned those lessons than to go out there and find him. Um... Have you seen anything strange on the farm, maybe? Yeah. Have you seen anything strange on the farm the past couple of days? Not really, no, but I've been awful busy, what with everything that's still been happening. Them chickens keep disappearing, though. Is Big Betty? Yeah. Big Betty? Yeah, it's Big Betty, one of your chickens. <laughs> nah, she ain't a chicken. Big Betty is our prized pumpkin. How nice. She was a big lady, too. I'd expect she was at least 2,000 pounds. Not easy to move something like that. Could be she rolled off down a hill, but I can't be looking for her just yet, what with everything else going on. Hmm. Uh, I guess say about the ditchlings, maybe? Yeah. Your dad was killed by ditchlings. They're monsters that show up when something bad is going to happen, and they're the things that have been stealing your chickens. I ain't never heard of a ditchling before, but whatever they are, they won't stop me from trying to find them. Uh, Basically, do we want to get him killed or not? Yeah... I feel like we should probably well, tell him. Well, I I think he's going to go regardless. Yeah, probably. And not telling him means he's just going to wander around further. Like, yeah, maybe. He, he is it is it better to tell him? I mean, we we don't know which outcome. No. Like trying to predict which outcome, but I think giving him no information just gives him a wider area to search, whereas giving him some information, I just don't know how to pronounce this word. Asgina. 
as Gina. Yeah. Yeah, I guess maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess go for that. <clears throat> he died on the northeast edge of town, off the Askina Trail. Thank you, Billy T. McGonagall. I appreciate you trying to help us out. I don't rest easy knowing he's out there somewhere or by his lonesome. And please, tell Miss Scarlet I'm sorry about her mama. Tabitha and Sybil are still in the tea room. Your phone buzzes. Oh my god, hey, I overslept. Still gonna make myself breakfast. If you want, you can swing by it. Otherwise, meet at the library and figure out a plan. I think I'm good. Just had a big fight. Not really hungry. Gonna chill in my van for a while if you want to hang out, though. Otherwise, see you guys at library. You have plenty of time before dinner at Reese's house. Uh, yes, yeah, especially the morning. Yeah. Um. I. Ooh. Do we want to wait for Tabitha? No. Uh, I think we should go and see if Kanika's all right. Yeah. You follow the direction Kanika stormed off in, and soon you find yourself in a disused parking lot hidden behind the shuttered, shop, shuttered shops on Main Street. She's sitting alone in the back of her van. But she notices you lurking on the edge of the parking lot and waves, her troubled expression brightening into a smile. Hey, you made it. Hop on in. Kenai, there's something different about Kanika today. She seems tired, her usual alertness gone, and her eyes unfocused as they settle on you. Sorry if you stopped in to find me at the store. I'm, uh, taking a mental health day. Plus, I feel like ass. I'm exhausted and a little out of it. Must have inhaled too much coal dust last night. Flirt. No! <laughs> Not the time, nor the place. Uh, sounds like you're having an argument, maybe? Uh, you and my cousin don't seem to get along very well. I was going to say, so, uh, do you, you think something... Do you think... Oh, oh no, I was going to say, do you think that something in the mines... Oh, nice. sick? yes, okay, yeah. Ah, it'll be consumption. Yes. Do you think that something in the mines made you sick? Oh, I see. <laughs> Seeing in chat, they're like, you wanting us to explore the options you've not done. No. Billy T. McGonagall does what Billy T. McGonagall does. Yes. Kanika reflects on your question and shudders. I was chalking it up to spending too much time breathing in that old mine dust, but with whatever happened to Wayne, I don't want to think about it. Are you sick? <laughs> <laughs> I feel great. I don't think so, but oh no, what if oh, I am? Oh, that might, yeah. Yeah. How does or how does one know if they're sick? What even is sickness? No, I, I think I don't think so, but oh no, what if yeah. I am? I don't think so, but oh no, what if I am? <laughs> if you're not sick, please don't get me started on an anxiety spiral. It's it's okay, Kinika. If Billy T. McGonagall had what you have, he'd know it. <laughs> Sorry, I talk to myself. Thinking about getting sick stresses me out. Uh... I guess it sounds like you were having some kind of argument, maybe? Yeah. Sounds like you were having some kind of argument. She sighs. Yeah, family stuff. Are you sure you want me to get into it? I don't want to dump all that drama on you. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Lay it on me. I'm a fiend for drama. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Lay it on me. I'm a fiend for drama. <laughs> Well, I'm happy to provide. Especially since you were there last night. You'll really get it. So many people having such a close call like that. There's no way to really imagine how that feels until it's happened to you. 
So after I got home last night, I had to deal with my brother. He really made me feel like I was the bad guy, especially once we got home. Like, the whole mine collapse was my fault, and Mum didn't help. She never does. She always takes my side, saying he's young and... Sorry, takes his side, saying he's young and allowed to make mistakes. Mistakes that I could never dream of getting away with. When we told her what happened, she just said the same shit she always does about family and getting along and sent us to bed with tea. Her favourite method of conflict resolution. As if a little hot leaf water ever really helped anybody. Depends on the leaf. Um, Boo. Um, uh, what's the deal with her and T anyway? Yeah, why not? So what's the deal with her and T anyway? <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the sign in the tea room, but apparently T is life. It's like she thinks she's some kind of witch. Bet she is. Yep. It kind of boiled over. Hey, this Ew. morning. She wound up blaming me for letting Miles sneak off into the mines, saying that if I'd been working like I was supposed to, he wouldn't have gotten in trouble. Like, I'm supposed to be in charge of a sullen teenager every second of the day. While working. And it's not like I don't care. I'm always stressing out about that kid, or the store, or the million other little things I'm supposed to deal with. None of this should be on me. These are the best Indeed. years of my life, and I'm wasting them in this dying town, keeping a store afloat while my mum just messes around with her little herbs or whatever. I'd made it out of here, damn it. I'd gotten into grad school. I was good at it. I was going to graduate with honours and everything. But Dad died, and I came back for the funeral that I had to stick around just to help Mum sort out a few things. First it was a month, then two. And now, here I am, over a year later, and those few things became my life. I don't want to be this person. If I could, I'd just drive this van all the way to the coast, lie down on the beach, and never come back. Mm. Uh, Keen eye, maybe? Yeah. It sounds like you already know what you want to do. Kanika is quiet for a moment, staring out at the overgrown parking lot. Yeah, you're right. Maybe tomorrow. Stella made all those ghost hunting plans. I can't just skip out on her like that. But yeah, tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. You should come with me. God. And of course, I feel like an asshole for talking about all of this now, the morning after a mine collapse. But I guess that's what pushed all of this over... I guess that's what pushed all of this over the edge. Nothing like a major disaster to make you question the direction your life has taken, right? Um, how are you doing after yeah, last night? Yeah, I think, I guess, yeah. yeah. How are you doing after last night? Aside from the family stuff. Not great, if you couldn't tell by now. At least I was able to get to sleep once the adrenaline wore off, even if I barely feel like I've got any rest at all. Before things got heated with my folks, Mum gave me some more of this tea that's supposedly good. I... Well, I don't know, recovery? Rejuvenation? It must have been caffeinated or something, because it did not help me fall asleep. But it's kind of helping with the headache, and at least it tastes good. What about you? Yeah, it was stare off into the distance, I feel like. Yeah. Some kind of, ha, oh, hmm. You stare off into the distance. Yeah, I feel you. I'm just glad nobody got hurt last night. It was a damn miracle. Uh, oh, police, exciting. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah. You and my cousin don't seem to get along very well? Yeah. You and my cousin don't seem to get along very well. That's putting it lightly, but yeah, sometimes you don't get along with people. If you have to ask, I think she's repugnant. Well, she's a repugnant, selfish human being to her core. And she's a big jerk, too. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, <laughs> I need her validation. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, this she seems is... personal, I feel like. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Did she do something to you? This seems personal. Besides her general bad attitude, no, she hasn't necessarily done anything to me. But her mum tried to buy the general store out from under my dad more times than he could count. She was an absolute snake of a woman, and the apple didn't fall far from the tree, judging by how Tabitha treats the miners. So Tabitha treats the miners. If I weren't here, I'm sure the store would already... Sorry, would already belong to the Scarlets. There's no way my mum or Miles would have the backbone to stand up to her. Just another way this town manages to keep its nasty little hooks in me. Uh, I guess that one, yeah. Yeah. She and Stella seem like they're close, or at least like they used to be. Yeah, I don't know what Stella saw in her, but they got pretty close in high school. I was taking a lot of online AP classes, so I wasn't around like I used to be. Maybe it's my fault they wound up hanging out so much. It seemed like they were always together, but by the time I got back to town they didn't seem to be talking anymore. Never really got the whole picture of what happened there, but thank god it meant I didn't have to see that woman all the time. Uh, Can't imagine Tabitha having friends. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe Stella brought a better side of her, I don't know. Yeah, let's go with that one. Maybe Stella brought out a better side of her. Maybe... But whatever side she might have seen, I sure as hell haven't seen it. Uh... That maybe a tough front? Yeah. I think she puts up a tough front, but she's softer than she seems. As if that changes anything. If a dog bites you because it's scared, it still bit you, and you have every right to never trust it again. It doesn't matter if that dog is nice to other people or if, you, uh, if it only bit you because it wanted to seem tough. She's never done anything to prove to me she's a good person inside. All she does is bark and snap at people. I'd be careful if I were you. Don't go sympathizing with someone like her. Uh. Ask you about Reese, maybe? Yeah. Are we still going over to Reese's place today? Oh, right. Oh, with everything going on, I almost forgot. Yeah, I think it's around four. Here's hoping he's still up for it. I'm dying to know what he's been up to in that little dungeon room of his. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried about the guy, even with everything else that's been going on. <laughs> that first one. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. A strange basement man. He's so mysterious. Get some notebook out. I can't wait to meet this strange basement man. <laughs> I'm glad you found his Phantom of the Opera vibes intriguing. <laughs> it's probably going to be good for him to meet new people. Maybe it'll get him to leave his underground fortress every now and then. I hope he lives up to the hype. Yeah. I hope he lives up to the hype. And go easy on the dude. He's a little shy, so I don't expect him to blow you away with the sheer force of his charisma. His art does a lot of the talking for him. Kind of art. A fellow artist, yep. I think, would... Oh, yeah, yeah. What kind of art does he do? Really dark stuff. It's good, though. The guy's terrible at getting it out there. Not that I blame him, but it's the sort of stuff that'll blow up the second he dies. Uh -huh. Which hopefully won't be for a very long time. <laughs> I've just seen the, the comments in chat of oh the art and banger art. So ah uh, okay right okay we well we need to see this then. Mm -hmm. Sorry to get a little macabre. Uh... Um, any tips making a good first impression? Any tips for making a good first impression? I don't think you need to worry about making a good impression. If I know Reese, he'll be way too worried about his own shit to even think to be offended by anything you say. Even if you insult his art, he'd probably think just think he deserved it, the poor guy. Also, don't roll your R's when you say impression. It doesn't work and you sound weird. Don't do <laughs> that, by the way. It would be like kicking a puppy. 
Uh, just remain silent. Yeah. You. Oh, it's you. You, you remain silent. I, I do feel like a lot of this is dialogue, by the way, so if you would like to That's take fine. it... I mean, no, to okay. be fair, I, I had loads of dialogue last time, so... Ah, true, yeah. Um... <laughs> just I quietly, just... just awkwardly <laughs> just stand. <laughs> I kind of want to do that, just like, that's it, just done yep. now. But mm -hmm. you see McGonagall just shuts down. It's like, conversation yep. over. Yep. Yep, Let's okay. A quiet breeze blows across the lot as you quietly stand there unsure of what to say. Both your phones buzz in unison. You reach for them at the same time. Ah, Jinx. Almost forgot. It's May Jimmy Day! Good excuse to head over to the library. We should check in with Oscar and Rosalina. Meet you all there in half an hour. Wow, I totally blanked on the May Jimmy thing. It's almost like we just went through a traumatic event or something and I'm not on top of my schedule. But Stella's right. This gives us a chance to meet up with Oscar. And Mayor Jimmy's awful cute. Book smart. Uh, I guess it's time to see the dog mayor. But is he as cute as me? <laughs> 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 oh, that's good, though. Yeah, I think I have to take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally! I'll be able to talk to an authority figure about the impending disaster. But you know that the mayor... Never mind. <laughs> but seriously, if you want anything done in this town, you'd probably have to talk to Tabitha, and I'm sure you've realised how impossible that is. Sorry, you're related to her. Anyways, we'll chill with Mayor Jimmy, go to Reese's for dinner, and then do some ghost hunting tonight. Thank God we have so much going on today. I really needed the distraction. And thanks for letting me vent earlier. It helped. Shall we? Go to the library. You and Kanika make your way to the library. It's busier than usual, and a small crowd has formed in a corner of the main foyer. Yes! The whole gang's here. I've been waiting to introduce Billy T. McGonagall to the mayor for, like, the entire time I've known him. <laughs> Just, like, two days. Yes. No, the mayor. <laughs> It'll be worth it. Trust us. All right. Shall we? Yep. He's a dog. Wow. He's a very smart dog. Keen eye. And judging from the series of portraits lining the walls... Historic buildings of Scarlet, Ho Scarlet Hollow was right. Every mayor of Scarlet Hollow in living memory has also been a dog. You can tell this dog is the mayor from his little sash and his fancy top hat. There's a regal air about him. Excuse me. Almost as if he knows the position of authority he's been elected to. He's also a collie, therefore he's fairly bright. Just, just going to give you that there, chat. He's such a pretty boy. That is. Majestic boy. Oh, these scenes are worth picking talk to animals. Yeah, damn. Mm. Oh. Well. Yeah. And unless you're mistaken, the serious man by his side is Deputy Franklin, one of the policemen you spoke to following your encounter in the woods on Monday. Ooh, we so didn't what, like him, did we? What we shall have to do is another playthrough sometime in the future, perhaps when the game's finished and we've finished it. Yeah, and do um, talk to animals. Make another absurd character who talks to animals. Yeah. The mayor's little nose starts twitching as you approach. His doggy eyes shine with a curious intensity. He knows you have something. Oh my god. Oh. Do we poison the mayor? I. That's probably really bad for dogs, right? Pretty much anything that a dog wants to eat is toxic. If a dog is asking for peanuts, they're probably toxic to dogs. I. I don't really want to try and kill Mayor Jimmy. No, I guess we'll keep the peanuts. And we did say we're going to try and keep the peanuts yeah. to the end. But yeah. 
<laughs> wow, oh no. Your peanuts to yourself, oh wow. Your hand instinctively covering them in a defensive posture. You're leaving this town the same way you entered it, with your increasingly pungent companion at your side. Game gets it. Yeah, game knows. He holds out his paw as if to shake your hand. What a good boy. I mean... Oh, so I, I, oh, I don't, would he? Would he be? I, I feel like we're going to lose all that. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> we did. We did. <laughs> I knew he'd be a dog. <laughs> oh, there are so many good options. <laughs> Damn. Oh, what do you think? I, I want, I want Cut. to shake the. I want to play it completely. Just, I'd love to meet you, Mister Mayor. But also, Mister Mayor, something also, terrible is going to happen. How do we happen. need your help? I th I, let's go with that one because yeah. that's just funny. Let's play it straight. Mr. Mayor, something terrible is going to happen to this town and we need your help. The mayor yawns as you attempt to tell him about the events of the past two days. I'm going to have to ask you to back off with all that supernatural nonsense. The mayor already has enough on his plate without you getting him all riled up about the monsters in the woods. You're lucky I'm off duty right now. <laughs> all right there, Gretchen. Gretchen squirms in Stella's arms, straining to get at Mayor Jimmy. All right, Gretchen, chill your beans. Hey, whoa, Gretchen, calm down, old girl. You're going to pull a muscle. Miss Richmond, I'm going to have to ask you and your dog to step away from the mayor. <laughs> I should have known better. These two haven't have never been able to get along. Stella walks off, struggling to hold Gretchen back. Kanika is quick to follow. You now see all the other dog cookies. Yes, majestic. And a jar of dog cookies. Yeah, not important stuff. Yeah. It looks like everyone else is already to already talking to Oscar in the next room. Before you can catch up to your companions, you're in intercepted by a nervous man with a cross around his neck. Oh, we know who the this music is. is saying the music is saying bad person. Yeah, that, <laughs> this, this, that's... the music is saying disconcerting, possibly creepy dude. Yeah, mm, this is gonna be Janie's husband. It's gonna be it? the priest, yeah. yeah. Sounds like old Gretchen and the mayor may have some unresolved issues, wouldn't you say? I'm Pastor Daniel. I take it you're Billy T. McGonagall. Everyone's been buzzing about you. I'm so sorry about your aunt, but I'm sure she's in a better place now. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Um. Uh, I mean, this this is this is McGonagall's Billy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Back off, preacher man. Either. Preacher man. Uh, I guess. Oh, thank God! I've been hoping to meet a priest. I feel like that would be very yeah. McGonagall. Yeah. Fair. Oh, thank God! I've been hoping to find a priest. <laughs> I like your gumption. I can't even remember the last time someone around these parts actually wanted to find me. Is this about Perlan? Or perhaps your mother? <laughs> we both know Perlan's in hell, wheezing. Yep. Yep. That, that's a very good one. I, I, yeah. I think we need an exorcism. I feel like that would yeah. be pretty good. I think we need an exorcism. Oscar's house is haunted and we're investigating tonight. Oh, like a Scooby Doo episode or something? I'm afraid I don't buy into that particular notion. It's a bit too spiritualist. Now, if it were a vision of one of his parents trying to contact him from heaven, I could understand that. But I simply right. don't believe in malicious spirits lingering neither in heaven nor hell, jumping out of closets to scare us. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for whatever it is he saw. Maybe mm, no top one maybe yeah I, I was thinking that we 
Wait. Yeah. You believe in some ghosts, but not others? What makes you an authority on that? I do have a degree from one of the top seminaries in the country. I took a whole class on ghosts, so I suppose that does give me a certain authority in this situation. I don't like this man. No, not at all. That that face is... Uh... Yep. Yeah. Uh, I want that, but sarcastic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. I trust you then. Um, is this just Russell Crowe? <laughs> That's like a bit like him, actually. Yeah. Isn't it? Uh, I guess maybe tell him you trust him. Although it doesn't say a lie. No, I. I, I yeah, I know. I, I worry that might. I. I. I think I trust Oscar. Yeah. Well. I trust Oscar. I'm sure Mr. Gutierrez saw something, but I'm just suggesting he may have misinterpreted a sign from the beyond. A lot of folks are frightened when presented with such visions. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Um. <laughs> uh, nice meeting you, I guess, maybe? Yeah. All right. I I should go. It was nice meeting you, though. Of course. And if you find yourself in need of counselling or spiritual guidance, you know where to find me. Mm. That sounds lovely. Thank that you. sounds lovely. Thank you. Yeah. That sounds lovely. Thank you. Really? Oh, that's great. Sorry, I just don't usually get positive responses when I ask folks if they want to come up to the church. Any time that works for you, just swing by. I'm sure I'll be around. It's probably because you're running around with a creepy piano playing. Yeah. He's probably actually lovely, and they're deliberately just making the mood deeply yeah. unsettling. Because, mm. I, frankly, I think a lot of people can relate to being in a position where a creepy pastor has come up and tried to evangelize rather than just talk. Yeah. It was lovely to meet you, and have a blessed day, Billy T. McGonagall. Zip. I think they mentioned that he was one of the backers who was fine with him using his face for this character. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. The pastor leaves you be and joins the line to see the mayor. Nothing to do now but catch up with your companions. Good grief. Uh, put a shirt on. <laughs> wow, okay. You find them already talking to Oscar deeper into the library. Tell tell me this game is a dating sim without telling me this game is a dating sim. <laughs> Oscar dad bod here. Yep. Are you sure we can't just get it over with while the sun is up? I don't know if I can handle getting scared shitless in the dark two nights in a row. I wish we could, especially since I'm not particularly excited about going back in there after dark either. But I'm pretty sure it only comes out when the sun goes down. Yeah, there's no way I'm going in until that spirit is at full power. I want to be sure we get the best evidence possible. This could be my one shot to get real proof of ghosts. I'm not going to waste it just because I'm in impatient. You all are going to be the death of me. I just hope it's possible to get rid of this thing. This is a pretty serious ghost infestation. Is that what you'd call something like this? I believe it's called a haunting, but ghost infestation also sounds good. I suppose we're ghost hunters, so we can call it whatever we want. Anyways, are we bringing up all the? Are we bringing all the ghost hunting supplies anyone could ever need? So we should be set on preparations. The only thing you'll need to bring is an open mind. <laughs> Power of friendship, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We have the power of friendship on our side. Heck yeah, we do. If anime has taught me anything, <laughs> it's that the power of friendship is unstoppable. That's a lovely sentiment. I'm sure Rosalina will at least be glad to know you all did your best to help her. Well, if we're not doing the hunt now, I guess we should head over to Reese's? Pieces? Absolutely. Mm. Come on, Billy T. McGonagall, time to go bother our friend. I'm going to get back to it. See you all tonight. Time to go. Uh, 
Tom. <laughs> what? Just, just invite Tabitha secretly. Oh, no. Wait, who's that? Avery. Avery is... Oh, God. Avery. Um... Oh, wait, no, I th yeah, I think I, yeah. Oh, chap in the, um... The diner. Uh, yes. Person with the diner. Yes. Yeah. Cool hacker. Uh, yes. Thank you. Um, so... I'm... Oh, they go by they, them, don't they? That's yes, yeah. Uh, well, you don't think it's a person, I don't think, yeah. Um, so... I finally met... Pastor Daniel. It was only a matter of time until he tried to pull you aside about grief counselling. When my dad died, I had to ban him from the general store for a week. He wouldn't stop yeah. leaving these little pamphlets in the checkout. I don't know where he finds so many. <laughs> so that Oscar art felt laser targeted to my taste. I did wonder yeah. how yet. Uh... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that one. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Really, I met him. He has been met. I have no opinions on the man. Wow, really? I've always thought he makes a memorably skin-crawling first impression. Yeah, he has a tendency to stick in people's minds for one reason or another, and they're almost never good reasons. The man was grinning through all of my dad's funeral. Oh, God. As far as I'm concerned, he's a ghoul. And I don't mean that in a stigmatizing mental illness kind of way. There's just this little siren that goes off every time I see him that tells me to get away from him. That's exactly how I would describe it, too. The whole town feels the same way. Now that I think about it, he must be pretty lonely. He can look for friends somewhere else. Uh... I guess head to Reese's? You don't want to invite Tabitha? Oh, we could ask if yeah. she wants to. Yeah. Do we mind... If I invite Tabitha ghost hunting. Please don't. <laughs> oh, oh no. my god, yes! Can you imagine how much fun that would be if she actually shows? Stella, come on, you know I think you have some sort of bond with her, but she's awful. Sorry, I know you think you have some sort of bond with her, but she's awful. She isn't even nice to you. You just haven't given her a chance. Maybe if she comes along tonight, the two of you will finally get along. No. Okay, I won't invite her. Invite her. Uh, mm. I kind of want to invite her along. Go on then. Uh, uh, maybe say I'm inviting her. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather not lie. I'm inviting her. Oof. I mean, I like me actually. Me, Sam. In this social situation, hundred percent would not. Someone, has, I just want, I want, no. I, I like, I, I worry about how the choices that I make when presented with the option to make silly choices in a game reflects on me as a person, and I just, I just want to be like, if someone in the group says no, I cannot stand that person. Cool, hundred percent. No, they don't need to come along. That's fine. I respect that. In yeah. a video game, though, however. <laughs> Another matter entirely. Yes, it gives me the option to pull the pin on the grenade, chuck it, and see what happens. Yeah. Uh, I was going to read that. Oh, sorry. It's fine. I. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I was just like, ah! Ugh. Was there a summary? Uh. Kanika, not particularly happy, but it's fine. Okay. I'm very sorry. No, it's fine. All right. I guess she's a family and she'll probably be too busy at the mines to even show, anyways. That's true, we can... If we, oh, if, don't worry. No. Oh, I don't say that, Nix. If we're lucky, we'll have another opportunity to forge a bond of friendship between the two of you. Uh, take the whole gang, invite Avery as well. Yeah, why not? Why not? What about inviting Avery? 
Oh, yeah, totally. I don't know why I hadn't thought of that. I'm sure they get a hoot out of it. Yeah, I can't say I mind having a calming presence with us tonight. We won't be much help to Oscar if we start jumping out at you know, start jumping at our own shadows. Cool, I'll text them on the way over to Reese's. Head to Reese's. Yeah. All right. Should we head out? The three of you leave the library for an early dinner at Reese's. I wouldn't mind stopping there. I actually, was going to say this. Right. This feels like a decent like break point to stop. Yeah. Um, which means chat. I'm because I yeah. I also I I'm curious to see what Reese is like and to to like see the art. Um, Ooh, but yeah. you know, let's 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 do that next time. Let's come back. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, everybody. You get to wait. Mm -hmm. But so do we. Um, right, so that that is now saved. Yeah. Um, which means I'm going to send us back to the main menu. Uh, yes. Um, so much to look forward to still. Exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. But you know, you've got to, you've got to keep wanting more. Um, yeah. Right. I'm just going to bring OBS back over here in a way that's wait. Where did? Okay, there's OBS. Good. It just disappeared behind the game. Uh, no. like, just, just don't crash just OBS. Don't... You're the one that I need to not crash. Yeah. Um, right. So that's us for today. Yeah. Um, oh. Hope you all enjoyed. What? Yeah. Well, see, uh, Max is actually on doing some Warhammer. Possibly, oh, okay. possibly painting. Um, mm -hmm. I, I see Stephen is on playing Valorant, um, which I would love to raid, or who I would love to raid because we do raid Stephen a lot, and Stephen is a lovely, lovely person. Um, yep, who he is. tell you what, instead of raiding, I, mean, I feel like everyone here knows who Stephen is. Yeah. Um, I'm going to shout out instead. No, that's a good idea. Yeah. If you would be so kind, if you are not already following Stephen. I mean, he will say thank you over on his stream if you do click that and give a sh and give a follow. Um, but I I do encourage you to to give a give a follow and a watch, frankly, because you know yeah. follows are one thing, but actually watching someone's nice as well. Um, yeah. To our our good friend Stephen Joyce, lovely lovely person, just yeah a, does good stuff. Yeah, just a a a true good person, a kind, caring, considerate person with a lovely community. Um, yeah. Go, yeah. His, his stream is just a, a lovely place to hang out. Um, yeah. Lurk, lurk away. It's always encouraged and welcomed. Um, yeah, highly recommended. Um, very, very nice. And yeah. Indeed. But I, I, think, I think I shall send you over to Max. I mean, Dave is yeah. live, but Dave's doing plate up. Which is quite frantic, yes. Um, and yeah, it's a, a rare Max being live. Um, yeah, I'm going to get that typed in now. Um, but yeah, we we are going to go. Um, mm -hmm. But worry not, because in theory we should be back on Wednesday. Uh, yes, not entirely sure what I'll be reading yet, but something short cool short stories for short people it rude yeah that's right I went wow. there you did I did just yeah yep I feel attacked yep I'll probably going back to the willows nice yeah I hope you enjoy it yeah um but yeah we'll we'll be back on Wednesday with with something short <laughs> short gang on following mm -hmm. no no we stand a short king um <laughs> and queen um yep. that's okay and then in theory ideally if all goes well um should be back on saturday i'm trying to think now of some uh, i don't think i've got anything coming up so i'm probably free on saturday to Yay. start reading uh something a bit longer than short stories and it is Yay. most likely unless a last minute change comes up on a pick a different book most likely going to be three men in a boat by Jerome K. Jerome, which is apparently a very good comedy. Um, as I say, subject to change, I might start reading it and just be like, no, why was I recommended this? It's mega problematic. 
I don't know. <laughs> um, we shall see. But yeah, we will be back on Wednesday, and then we'll be back next Saturday with stories for you. Um, Yay. Yeah. And for Bandcamp related things, oh, yes. I will try I will try and get the Bandcamp thing up at some point in the next two weeks. It will probably not be on the 1st of June, as usually Bandcamp is, just because stuff and yeah. the other things. Turns out it's a surprising amount of work. Yeah. Um, it is. But yes, I, I also have more stuff to record for that yeah. as well. Um, so yeah, that's that is that. Um, but yes, that that will be going up. And, and yeah, as ever, if you are if you are perhaps new here, or you don't, you know, if if you want some of the older stuff that we have done, we have a YouTube, we have a band camp as well, where things are more professionally recorded. Um, we would love to have you go and check either of those out or both of those. See if there is something that you like. Um, yeah. Help yourselves. It's it is Indeed. all there. Um, and yeah, we will we, we'll be back for the next one. But for now, for this evening, for, at least for us here, um, it is it is goodbye from me. Yeah, and it's goodbye from me. Everybody have a good evening and thank you all very much for being here. Indeed. Thank you very much. And yeah, goodbye. Bye.